You just wanna clog your arteries? This is the New Testament. Welcome to another episode of Fridge Diving. Today we're gonna make Tres Leches Fried Chicken. Why? Because that's the name of my favorite song on Big Pun's first album. Tres Leches, my shit. Let's get started. Oh, look at this. We got a couple chicken thighs, light meat and dark meat in one. I love it. I don't think there's anything on the chicken thigh that air fryer won't kill. I'll soak it in lime for about three minutes and we'll say it was 20. Citrus combat salmonella, so I've heard. The lime just enhances anything. You can give me a sheet of loose leaf paper and squeeze some lime on it and it'll be delectable. We're gonna prepare a little flour and we're gonna season our flour. Cayenne, a little poultry seasoning, pepper, paprika, and a little sea salt. Each color should be present. It shouldn't be drowned in the flour. The flour shouldn't look like flour. You know, it shouldn't just be white. A little canola oil. We're not gonna submerge it as if we were deep frying it, but we'll put a little oil on just to make everything else stick. Evenly coat them in the canola. Then we coat these. Dust them each side. Back and forth a couple times. Place that gently on the bottom of the air fryer. There's a button that says chicken. I'm gonna push the chicken button. Now we'll start with part two. I'm about to give you a milk lesson real quick. It might appear that we have four milks in front of us, but we really only have three. Condensed milk is evaporated milk with sugar in it. We're gonna use both. Then we have heavy cream. Then we have organic whole milk. I want this to be a little thicker than what you would soak typical tres leche in, and a little um, thinner than the icing that you would put on top because this is a syrup substitute, so I know what I'm going for. I'll let you know when I see it. Oh. It looks good, it looks good. I'm gonna thicken this out right now. Granulated sugar. Then we're gonna use some powdered sugar. This is good because this calls for powdered sugar and it's a thickening agent. So we're gonna get the right consistency that we're going for. Mm. And I got suede sneakers on too. But whisk is probably better. That probably would have prevented me from ruining my Jordan. Wow. It tastes like it needs a little vanilla. And a hint of cinnamon. A dash. Chicken's at the halfway point. Let's take a gander. Flip this real quick. See how nice and crispy this is? Like, yo, deep fry for what? Deep fry for what? You just wanna clog your arteries? This is the New Testament. I'm passionate about that. It's crazy, because I love fried chicken, but I wouldn't eat fried chicken as often as I wanted to, because you had to have a little discipline, a little self-control. Now with the air fryer, Fried chicken every day. I went to a brunch the other day. I came home with three Belgian waffles. Being that this is a halfway health conscious recipe, we're gonna heat these waffles up by submerging them in butter. I like when you reheat the waffles and they get a little crispier on the outside, you know? And that, that, that's perfect for this because we're gonna soak them in three milks. The only thing that counts more than texture is integrity. If you have integrity and your texture's up to par, you're golden. You know you're a flawless human being. Ooh, did you catch that? This game crazy. Six minutes left on the chicken. Look at this. Oh man, Crown Fried, Kennedy, KFC, Popeyes, whoever you want to compare it to. The air fryer got it. Oh look, a little habanero appeared out of nowhere. I'm gonna just place it in the center. And if we're lucky, in the next five minutes, it'll explode and habanero particles and seeds will kiss the skin of the chicken and you get a little spice when you bite. Yeah, that's damn near perfect. I like my chicken fried hard. I'm gonna throw it in for like two more minutes, but that's, it's perfect like that, but you know. I want it to be perfect to the second power. See this color? That gets crunchy, crispy on the top. Let's go see how our um our three milks are doing, how they're getting along. Ah. 
Look at that. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. That tastes like the best egg cream you ever had in your life. And now we're gonna get started. Look at this. Look at how the air fryer gets the job done, like. You know how when you have chicken and waffles, you get a little syrup on your chicken by accident, but then you're lucky? It's like, now you don't have to wait for it to happen by accident. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it out like that. If it's somebody's birthday at the table, they get the lucky habanero. I like all berries, really. I never, I haven't met a bad berry yet. What you see is what you get with a berry. Like, if there's any flaws, they're in plain sight. Like, you know what you're getting into. You can't say they switched it up on you. Here we go. First, we'll take a cut of the chicken. You hear that crunch? You hear the skin crunch? This is a complete bite right here. Let's add a blueberry on top. Oh, blueberry. Yo, this is insane. Let me spoil myself a little. Let me take myself to Fifth Ave real quick. I'm in sex right now. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. This is something crazy right here. Something special, one of a kind. You get the, the sweetness from the condensed milk, powdered sugar, and the cayenne creeps up on you like this. this dog, this, this is a lot going on. It's like they're playing tennis right now on my taste buds. Let's keep shooting until we run out of memory. Tres leches, chicken and waffles. Thank you. You think I was abducted and forced to be a sous chef for 16 years. I've been talking a lot about abduction this season. You know, I've been watching mad Lifetime movies with my mother. Someone's always getting abducted in a Lifetime movie. I know how to steal you 36 different ways from watching Lifetime. 